If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Welcome back to Drawing a Blank. This week will be a bit of a shorter episode since it's Sean's birthday this weekend and we're trying to work ahead to take some time off and relax. So I thought this week I could finish a sketch that I already had lying around for a while featuring Mothwing and Leafpool, the two lady medicine cats who don't realize how head over heels they are for each other. <laughs> I drew this sketch back in, oh god, May. Wow, time sure does fly. <sighs> I wanted to finish the sketch at some point, but I never got around to it. So yeah, you guys won't get to see my sketching process this time around, but I guess I'll take this time to talk a bit about the characters themselves. Now, of course, this is Mothwing and Leafpool, two medicine cats from RiverClan and ThunderClan respectively. And in case you somehow weren't aware, people really ship these two pretty hardcore, cause let's face it, Leafpool is definitely bi and Mothwing is rocking some pretty fierce lesbian energy. Back in my rewrite video of New Prophecy, I mentioned that I would love to see Moonrise written partially from Mothwing's point of view. Not only would this give us better foreshadowing into Hawkfrost's manipulation and villainy, but it would be a great opportunity to get into Mothwing's head and see how she views her place in RiverClan. Mothwing would be a fascinating character to get some perspective from, especially this early on in the series. She's not clan-born, but she was accepted into RiverClan with her brother and raised like most other RiverClan cats, and even trained to become a warrior first before choosing to become a medicine cat. What made her decide to switch? What was her relationship like with Mudfur, who also trained as a warrior first before becoming a medicine cat? I bet these two could have bonded over this similarity and we could have got to see a very unique perspective of two cats who chose healing over fighting, which I think in general would have been a great theme to go alongside New Prophecy. Back to Mothpool shipping headcanons though. I would have loved to see Mothwing and Leafpool bond from the perspective of Mothwing more too. Leafpool seems to have a major crush on Mothwing right off the bat, but in later books we see that Mothwing has a deep respect and trust in Leafpool that she really doesn't have for any other cat. And seeing that relationship's starting point, be it romantic or platonic, would have been really sweet. Of course, Mothwing is beautiful. The books mention this over and over and over again. But I always like the idea of Leafpool looking slightly unattractive. She's cute in an unconventional, dour kind of way, if you know what I mean. I decided to go all out with the shading and background this time around. Just go super lovey-dovey and shade them in light pinks and purples. As a side note, a great way to get some depth in your paintings is to shade them with both warm and cool colors. Warm colors being reds, oranges, and yellows, and cools being blues, greens, and purples. You can see that I shaded lighter with pink as my main warm color, and then went back over some of the darker shading with a purpley blue. And that'll be it for this episode. If you're interested in a print, be sure to check out my Redbubble store. Next week is the Patreon voted episode, and my patrons demanded more Star Clan battle characters, so I was more than happy to oblige. Join me back here next week for that, and if you'd like to get a say in what I draw, consider becoming a patron. Just donating $1 a month gets you access to my Discord server, lets you make requests in my monthly drawing stream, lets you make suggestions for drawing a blank, and lets you join Sean and I on movie nights, where we watch some upcoming animation pilgrimage movies with you guys. Have a fantastic week, everyone, and please stay inspired. Come and fly away with me.